What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here. Remedy just announced that Quantum Break Xbox One's uh, one of their top tier AAA exclusives supposedly is going to be delayed until 2016. And while I'm not really shocked about this, and you're probably not either, I want to talk about this. It seems like we're in the age of uh, delay. Every game seems to be delayed for whatever nebulous reason. Developers delay games because the game is not far along. It's not what they envisioned. Uh, they don't want to compete against maybe another top-tier title and lose sales. No, they want to push it to a more convenient date where there's nothing being released. All kinds of stuff. And uh, it just speaks to the time that we're in, I think. that This new technology, these new home consoles, PCs, evolution. There's so much more that goes into video games. Uh, the development aspect of it than there was 20 years ago. And uh, a lot of these people coming into this industry, you know, working on video games and creating video games, it's easy to have an inception moment of, oh, this is my pitch. This is going to be the game. And you explain it to, to a group of people. And you know you got talented, a talented team around you. But I think sometimes people don't understand just how much work goes into the development side of video gaming. And that it's tons and tons of man hours and 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 lots and lots of uh, dedication and sacrifice and time away from your family, all kinds of stuff. Shareholders, there's so much stuff that goes into developing a video game, and it seems like every AAA title gets delayed now. It's not even a surprise. I kind of already had a feeling that Quantum Break would be delayed, just like everything else. And my issue is not the delay of a video game because usually when a video game is delayed it turns out to be a better game it turns out to be a better experience than it would have been if the development team had rushed it out you know we, we've seen what happens EA when video games are released too early and they come out broken when they could have took a few more months to fine-tune you know the net code fine-tune uh, you know different aspects of the game so I don't have an issue with delays my issue is this. Why not announce a game six months before it's complete? Or six months before you think it's going to be complete, rather than announce a game in 2013, like Quantum Break was it revealed in 2013, and now it's going to be released in 2016. That's three years. That's a lot of time. A lot of people who might look forward to... I mean, I remember back in the day, if a game was announced, you'd see that game that year for sure. You know? Or at the beginning of the very next year. Now games are on these ridiculous development cycles, and these developers come out and announce them five, eight, ten years, The Last Guardian, before a game is even playable. And it just drives me nuts. I mean, look how long... The Order 1886 was in development. You know, look, and, and they took over an extra year before they released that. You know, and now we got Quantum Break. And now I'm sure this is not the end of it. I'm sure that uh, The Division and other games are going to have these, you know, delays. Batman. All these games get delayed. And it, it's, becoming, it's becoming a non-issue because it's something that I'm expecting. I'm sure like, lots of you guys are expecting it too. But... At some point, you would think the developers pick up on what the issue is. The issue is not that a game has an extra long development cycle or that it has to be delayed. The issue is you are, you are revealing it too soon. You, you reveal it and all you're doing is showing concept art? That means you're just on the ground floor of this game. Why get people hyped for something and expect them to be hyped for three, four years before they actually have a chance to play a game and then realize it's subpar like The Order 1886? I mean, let me take that back. The Order 1886 was not a bad game. Uh, it wasn't a bad game. It did not live up to my expectations. Uh, I played it once and I have not turned it on or tried it ever since. And for me, that is not a, a grand experience. It's just a one, a one off. It's like a movie that you watch and you don't want to watch it again. And people were hyped for that game for a long time and didn't even know why. You know? Don't get people hyped and excited for something and expect them to stay excited because if, if you announce a game three, four, five years and the, and development drags on that long, and a person gets their hand on that game, it's going to burn them out. And especially if it's a bad experience. I, I think the developers need to start 
moving more into the mindset of, okay, we've been developing this game for the last 18 months. Now we can announce it. Let's announce it, show some gameplay. Let people know, hey, look, we're actually moving along here. Rather than, here's some stills from the, the set. Or here's, uh, you know, concept art from our concept artists. Or here's the, you know, the, the costume design. Show us something. And, and stop the bullshit, because this is just becoming ridiculous. I think that Quantum Break can be a great game. I think it looks fantastic. I mean, the last time I saw it, I saw like 20 minutes of gameplay. It looked awesome. And and I think that delaying the game, they're saying that they're just delaying it because they want to move uh, Xbox One's already amazing uh, exclusive portfolio into 2016. That's bullshit. You're moving it because it's not ready, period. If it was ready, you'd ship it, you know, holiday 2015. Period. All right. So they're moving it because it's not ready. Stop announcing games four, three, four, five years before the game comes out. Get some work done on the ground floor. Get a nice foundation built. Get your engine up and running and things looking nice. Then announce it. You guys let me know what you think about it in the comments below. As always, thanks for all the thumbs up and support, guys. It means a lot to me. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.